Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, I am Sandra here on um, Daily Healthy Living, and I'm so excited to share with you our next video here, you guys, today. Um, our topic today is being beautiful inside and out. And um, this is one of those topics that I've been thinking about for a few weeks, and I just really wanted to share my heart with you um, about being beautiful inside out. And um, one of the things that I want to do, first of all, is um, open up reading a scripture from the Bible. Y'all know from some previous videos, in fact, if you followed me on my recently channel and see me on lives, um, you know that I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ. And um, I want to share with you a verse that I have been going back to quite a bit lately, and I'll share with you why. And I hope this is a blessing to you as well. Um, Psalms 139, um, 13 and 14. For you, formed me, for you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works that my soul knows very well. And the reason why I want to share that verse with you guys on top of the discussion we're going to be talking about today is, unfortunately in society today, you guys, um, it, is, it, is, it is frowned upon for a woman to feel, beautiful, to feel like she's beautiful. And the reason why I say that is because in society, you look at all the magazines, you look at the internet, and when you look at pictures of women, whether they're models or just, you know, photographs or things like that, oftentimes we know that they're, the, those pictures are taken and then they kind of play around with the picture and make the woman's body look absolutely perfect. And in society on TV and all these other things that we see, it is insisted that a woman's body look perfect to be beautiful. And it's really sad to me because, yes, most definitely, yes, we want to take care of the body, the only body that God gave us. But our beauty is not just on the outside. Our beauty first comes from the inside and who God made us to be individually unique. And I think it's so sad that as women, we're not looked on that we're beautiful inside out. If our, and if our bodies aren't perfect, some of us have a little bit more in our bodies than others do. Um, some of us weigh more than others do. And I know some of us are working on not weighing what we want, what we weigh. That is not the topic of conversation today, guys. The topic of conversation is knowing who you are in Christ Jesus, knowing that you are beautiful no matter what your figure looks like. You are a beautiful person inside. Um, the, the person that you are, your personality, what you, um, how you bless people, what you give to people, how you give of yourself to others, to your kids, to your family, to your neighbors, who you are as a person, how you were beautifully created by God, so uniquely and so beautifully. And it just, it, it's so sad to me that um, we are beaten down so much that if we don't have the perfect body, that we're not beautiful. And that is so not true. It's so not true. You are beautiful just the way God made you. And I want to reinforce that. The next thing I want to talk about is kind of goes in line with that. And if you have had work done in your bodies, that is definitely your prerogative. I personally am in of the feeling that I love the way God made me. And I'm constantly, continually working on not listening to the outside world, making me feel like I'm not beautiful, letting depression set in and making me feel like, hey, I'm not worthy. Because I know that I'm more than Christ Jesus, but I also know that I'm beautiful as a person. And I know this face that God gave me, I don't need to change that face. I don't need to get implants. I don't need to change my figure. I don't need to get liposuction. I know Again, taking care of the body that God gave me, eating properly, and again, that is not what we're talking about here today, but those factors though, you guys, knowing that even if you are way more than you want to weigh, that is not who you are. You are a beautiful person, and you have a beautiful personality that God gave you, and changing our physical attributes to hopefully make ourselves look better, look younger, you guys... Aging is part of the process of being, right? As we get older, our body ages. We gray. Um, and, and yeah, sometimes we gain weight. But again, the weight factor is not a topic of conversation, guys. Today, we're talking about being a person, our personalities, um, just the beauty that God made us to be. 
And I do not believe that we should have to change our figure with, with, um, with surgeries and all these other things to be confident that we are a beautiful woman. Um, now again, if you are not of that belief that you want to go get surgery done in your face, surgery done in your chest, surgery done in your legs and your stomach and all that, if you are of the belief of that, we definitely differ in that and that's totally fine. I would just encourage you to believe, even if you've gotten that work done, to believe that you are beautiful no matter what your body looks like because you are a beautiful woman. Um, and I think it's really sad that society makes us women feel like we have to make all these changes to our body to believe that we're beautiful. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is being elegant the way God made us. You guys, we were made so different with our bodies being female compared to what males are. And I think it's just so important to embrace the beautiful way that God made our bodies. We have figures. It's that simple. We have figures that are beautiful, whether your figure is pear-shaped, whether you're more lean in your body, um, whether you're a bigger bone structure, whether you're a petite structure. You have a beautiful body that God gave you. And it's a feminine body. And he made our bodies feminine for a purpose, for a reason when he made us. There is no mistake in the way God made your body. When you came out of your mother's womb, your body was perfect just the way God made it. It was perfect. And I'm speaking to myself, you guys. We're perfect. Our bodies are perfect just the way God made us. We have curves and a figure and a feminine figure for a reason. I want us to embrace that figure that God gave us and not be ashamed or afraid to be feminine, to look beautiful, um, to show our elegance. To show our figure, and not in a negative way, guys. There is a context of showing your figure in a proper way. I'm not talking about, you know, showing your chest. I'm not talking about being having the tightest, you know, jeans and the tightest skirt possible to show our figure. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you have a beautiful feminine figure, and when you dress, whether you wear pants, whether you wear sweatpants, whether you wear skirts or dresses, no matter what you wear, Feel feminine. Be willing and be okay with feeling and being feminine the way God made you to be. And then I also want to encourage you guys, show your personality. You have a beautiful personality. Now, I would like to share along with this. I do want to say that as the women of the household, you guys, if you are a woman, you are a woman of a household. Whether you are single and live by yourself, whether you're married, whether you're married and have kids, you are the feminine figure in your household. And I encourage you to be the loving figure in your household. But to be willing to show the fruits of the Spirit and be loving and compassionate and kind. Granted, we have our off days. Most definitely, we all have our off days. And sometimes when we have our off days, it's okay to have an off day. But I encourage you to be the booster in your family. To be the person in your family that when your kids are around you, when your husband's around you, when it's just you and your home, to be a positive in your environment, to be an encourager in your environment, to show the fruits of the Spirit, loving and compassionate, kind and gentle and, you know, all the beautiful fruits of the Spirit. I encourage you as a woman to be proud of who you are, to feel beautiful and to be um, encouraged and um, to be the uplifting person in your household. So if your kids or your husband come home and had a rough day, you are the uplifter of the emotions and the, the environment in your household. I encourage you and I challenge you to desire to be that. I know sometimes I have to work at it. Sometimes when my husband gets home from work and had a kind of a rough day, I try to recheck my spirit because sometimes that does happen. I'm like, okay, Lord, I know he's getting home soon. I've kind of had a rough day. But when he walks in that door, I want to make sure he walks into a loving environment and he's happy to be home. And I do greet my husband when he comes home from work. I am there waiting. Our dog also is there waiting. Um, and she usually always greets him as soon as he walks to the door. And I'm usually within a few feet of that. And he walks up to me, gives me a kiss, and we hug. And we go about our evening. I've already usually got dinner on the table. Or I'm talking about what we're going to be making for dinner. But I encourage you, even if your kids get home, to just be an, an enjoyment of, 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 of encouragement in your household. Again, if you have a rough day, that is okay. But I encourage us to 
be the um, joy in our families, to be the uplifter. And if you do have a rough day, your family knows, hey, mom's just having a rough day. And hopefully they would be an encourager. Hopefully your husband can be an encourager for you during that time. I know my husband, when I'm having a rough time, he just encourages me and lifts me up. And he knows if, if I need space, just give me space. But if he just needs to come up and give me a hug, he'll come up and give me a hug and say, it's okay, you know. So, but my point in this video, guys, is I really, really encourage us women to be proud of who we are as women. Do be proud of the fact that we have a figure that um, even if our figure has a little bit of extra on it, it's okay. Um, to be proud of our personalities, to be proud of the person that God made us to be, the beautiful elegance that God made us to be. I hope this was a blessing to you guys today. We've got some great content. I've got some more daily vlogs coming out. Um, I've got some bread making that's going to be going on. I'm going to be making my own peanut butter, my own mayonnaise. I'm going to be sharing that with you. I'm going to be making my own um, uh, lotion here soon. I'm also going to be doing videos like this where we're just talking about just daily life, you guys. Again, I hope this was a blessing. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you have a great one. Be beautiful. Be healthy. Be, uh, be elegant. And we'll see you next time.